Alders next. Oh my god, I'm, I'm really excited, dude. I'm just gonna do something very stupid, and I'm. It took me. Wait. Oh no, no. 31 hours. I was like, is it. Did it take me 14 hours to get to, to, through that much of the game? 31 hours and 10 minutes to get to this point in the game. God, I'm excited. I kind of want to use like a sword stance, but I don't know if that's going to work out. Alright, Alder, let's get this over with, shall we? I'm just going to walk. Here we go. I am grateful for what you did about N. I don't know what he's thinking now, but I'm sure he realizes that different people in Pokemon have their own paths to follow. Say now, how about a match with the strongest trainer in the Unifor region? He's been training, by the way. He has actually been training. Here we go. Here we go. What a background. Alright, and here we go. Salagor. Spotlight, Excadrill. Oh. I'm five levels lower, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I wouldn't have had it any other way. God fucking what you. Okay, maybe I should have leveled up a little bit higher. Come on, survive, survive. Yes, you lived. Also, why the hell are they always able to hit these stupid attacks? Yes, one shot. Screw you. No. You dumb fuck! What's your problem? Why would you send out Volcrona now? That was supposed to be the last clash. Samurai Spotlight. This is the last clash. I couldn't care less. This is the last clash between Volcrona and Samurai for the champion spot. Uh. Wait, does he also have to go on or something? Quiver Dex. You fuck. Okay, okay. Right. If that's the move he chose after serious consideration, that's fine. This is the move I'll choose now, motherfucker. I'll kill this Volcarona with Hydro Cannon. There's no way I can't beat it with Hydro Cannon. Unless, of course, that Razor Shell was a crit. Samurai Hydro Cannon! Come again! Oh no, that must have been a crit. Oh, I fucked up. Live, you stupid fuck. There's no way. There ain't no way I can win this now. I don't get it again. Shit. I don't care, I'm switching. This did not happen, not cannon, hey, not cannon, ain't cannon. Nope. What happened to Hydro Cannon? Like, I thought it was this OP as fuck move, and but every time I use it, it turns out it sucks worse. Then Razor Shell. That's got like du more than double, I think, the base power. There's no way my special attack is that low. I, I need to look back on the recording. I think that. Look at this 75, 150. Okay, maybe there is a lot. Now this is technically canon, outside of the fact the Samurai went down, because I basically used everyone in order to take out this Volcarona. Okay. And as Samurai finally was able to take it out, Samurai use Hydro Cannon now and fuck this thing up. They got one champion. Champion is me. Thank you, Samurai. Victini Spotlight. Now we're back to regular battle. So just put that other stuff at the end of the video. Like, V create. There's no way. There is no way in hell that you survive. Even if you have sturdy, I'm still convinced there's no way you will survive. You look awesome, though. I'm not even gonna lie. You look so fucking cool. I mean, I've seen way cooler Pokemon, but that doesn't mean that you don't look any less cool. I still think you are badass. Buffalant, here we come with the issue. Did he return? Leave any spotlight. 
I kind of wish the uh, Vanillux came out first. Alright then. Is he gonna risk it? He is! Nice sword stance. So I can leave Blade or Axis or you to death. Okay. Okay, maybe I can't. It was just a risk. That did not pay off in the slightest. Scratch the spotlight. Break, break. How the hell am I faster than you? No. No. Yes. Break, break again! Another win under me belt! Still four levels lower, I don't. Put out your fucking ice cream cone, ya bitch! Okay. Dragon v Dragon, safety returns, Zekrom spotlight. By the way, Zekrom also was not unable to battle, so I still had Zekrom in the back pocket. And then there was a clash between... Um, Volcarona and Samurott, but Samurott eventually hydro cannoned it down to the floor. And basically knocked it out. Everyone else got knocked out by Volcarona mainly. Because it, it's just too powerful, okay? It's too strong. I'm about to be left with legendaries and starter. Scrafty, don't let me it's happen. Spotlight! Kill this dumb ice cream. Oh shit. Whoa, you're in exhaustible fighting spirit. Impressive. No! Scrafty, why? Man, you may not have even been hit if I just used Leaf Blade with Leaf Annie. Or X Scissor. Searing shot, Victini. Spotlight and searing shot. Oh yeah, well, much... Ah, shit, actually, that's gonna help you a lot now, think about it. I'm not gonna use V-Create. Am I being overpowered? This is nothing. I will overpower you. Apparently you will. <gasps> no fucking heal? Dude. That is at critical health. How did I pull that off? I did it! We won! After that, the battle, a fresh wind blew through my heart. Use the battle with me as a stepping stone and it, wait. Yeah, and move forward. I think that's what he said. Well done. You certainly are an unmatched talent. Come with me. Alright, I need to shit that last like 10 minutes if possible at all. This room is the Hall of Fame. It exists to, commun to commemorate the trainers and Pokemon who have demonstrated their stellar strength and kindness of heart. Well now, Hilda. I, to be honest, I actually don't even remember ever coming here. I think I did, but I can't be sure. Because usually after the game is done, I'm not really into like, oh, let me just go and do the league rematch. Usually I'm like, all right, game's done, on to the next one. I don't like that there's no music. With your skills and perseverance, uh, persistence, you have earned your place in this Hall of Fame. Your name, the account of your journey, and the history of your battles will all be recorded here. In, I hope all of this becomes a support to you and helps you grow stronger. Now, trainer, you and the Pokemon who fought by your side will be recorded in this machine. Four, five, six. Bang, bang, da, ting, ting. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta make noises, I guess. Alright, 10 minutes credits, I'll allow it. Let's start off with Excadrill, the powerhouse. Next up, Levani, the elegant cloth maker, I guess. Zekrom, the legend. Scrafty, the uh, head butter, I don't know. Victini, the mythical. Samurott the starter, 
I need to come up with a better name for that other bastard. Hmm. Scrafty. You know what? Excadrill, the force, Crafty, the powerhouse. There you go. I'll wait here. You put that fucking starter next to me or I'm not continuing on. She did it though, ladies and gentlemen. She did it. Zekrom, the legend. I'm waiting here until that starter comes next to me so I can continue on. I'm not continuing on without the starter. I don't care how long this recording is gonna take, it could be taking three hours if I have to wait that long for a Sam Roth to appear next to me. Before I press that damn A button, then I will wait. Da fuck, I was about to press it, but it's Victini. Ah, starter or bust? Starter or bust, that's how it works. Starter. Yes. Saving, don't turn off the power. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Oh. Here we go. Pokemon White version, the credits. Director, Junichi Masuda. I'll tell you this right now. I love this game. I fucking love this game. I think this game is deserving of the legendary 9 out of 10. Fucking 9 out of 10. Easy 9. Right? This is one of the best Pokemon games ever made. Up there with Heart Gold, the Soul Silver, and Emerald for me, and Platinum for me. You know? That's like the tri the four Facta, I guess. There's like a trifecta, but it's like four games, so it's four Facta of like peak Pokemon. After this, it all goes downhill. Not this series, though. If you think this series that I've been doing so far has quality, quality is gonna remain the same but I mean after gen 5 because after this comes black to white and I think about it so it's also not really that tab bad but after gen 5 it all goes downhill okay we get to the, the, the gen 6 7 8 and I guess 9 with the only saving grace of the 3d era I guess being legends Arceus I like ORS too, but I still am very upset about that lack of Battle Frontier. It's, it's still something I'll hold against that uh, game for as long as I live. But, um, yeah. Outside that, it's like Sun and Moon, but I also have personal issues with Sun and Moon. Also, by the way, I'm just gonna say this right now. When I'm gonna do Ultra and Moon, I'm gonna, like, put in stuff from Moon. So that, like... For example, like the champion battle, let me just spoil that immediately, it's not gonna be against Hao, it's gonna be against Kukui, because there's no other way. I hate that in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon they put that bastard at the champion battle. No, I wanna battle Kukui. Whatever. Can't win them all, or any of them. But yeah, they'll keep rolling credits. Don't you fucking dare be done already. Come on, man. I need five more minutes. No, not yet. Question mark at the end. This is not the end because we still got that damn Cynthia battle. This is not the end, no matter how you look at it. This is definitely not the end. But we're close, though. Now I gotta annoy you guys. <laughs> Trending world champion Ash Ketchum. Not for me. Trending in the Netherlands is uh, Pokemon, though. Let me see what's here. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Ah, Ash World Champion. Someone put that in there. Fucking, like, uh... Breaking. A Sports Nation. Get the fuck out of here. After 25 years, 10-year-old Ash Ketchum is now the Pokemon World Champion. Catch him becomes the world's top trainer after winning the Masters 8 tournament. Like, I even saw that, like, BBC or some shit like that, like, uh, covered it as well. Oh, Ash's team win to loss ratio. Pikachu won 14 battles and lost only 3. Dragonite won 4 battles and lost, uh, did it win 4 battles? Like, I don't even remember. 
Like, it was like, I think, was it like both Pokemon from Karina? Then like one po- and then like Haxorus from Iris. And then like, uh, Dragapult from Leon. Dude, over the course of like 119 or so episodes, Dragonite has battled seven times. Get the fuck out of here. Gengar's lost, uh, one six lost, really? Seven losses, I thought it was going up. Lucario 110 lost 6. Probably has a real loop. Surfetched 14 lost 5. Really, Surfetched? Expected more from you. And Dracovish keeping it a 50 50 with a 4 4 win to lose ratio. Oh, these are Pokemon. Wait, PWC matches only. What do you mean? Following his victory against Leon in Mass Tournament, here's an updated look at the current win slash loss ratio of Ash Ketchum's team in the Pokemon World Championships. Yeah, I'm just gonna like. I even saw something like, oh crap, I need to Pokemon Twitter right now. Like, you have a lot of people like crying about it, like, oh my god, they spoiled it for the dub watches. I'm sorry to five people who watch the dub. First person that I see is like, finally we can move on with the scare and get something like this for once, where they had like the, the gotcha thing. <laughs> Pomo fans wanting the same level of animation for a three minute music video for a weekly anime seri uh, series. Yes, this is very feasible and doable. Where's that fucking... Here, the official Xbox... Uh, I'm saying here, so if you can see this. The official Xbox account ha has tweeted, Ash deserves this and more. Congratulations to the very best like no one ever was with a trophy behind that. You can go, what? The official Xbox Twitter? Congratulated the boy. Our boy, he congratulated our fucking boy. Then someone edited it. The final battle against Leon, like after Pikachu wakes up from its like spiritual energy. Which I see as all of Ash's Pokemon are kind of like giving their energy. Kind of like a spirit bomb kind of situation. Where basically they give their energy to Pikachu and then Pikachu unlocks Pika Papau. But anyway, someone edited that to have the original English opening the first season opening play during that stuff and it's like I want that at this one I want nothing more someone else said like congratulations to Ash but congrats to Serena May for becoming canon I'm like come again becoming canon lesbians really want today don't say that stop ruining the characters based yeah don't say that shit you stupid fuck Lesbians really won today, huh? First of all, Chloe and Dawn are not lesbians. Second of all, May and Serena are not lesbians. You can go fuck yourself. Because May is a custom of May. Serena is apparently for Ash, so you don't want to fuck that. That's the worst ending. Serena was going to be Ash's girlfriend. Come again. Oh, that's what you mean for Serena and May for becoming canon. Just because they hold hands, they're nervous, and they're women, they always do, you know, go fuck yourself. Not Pokemon swirling the dub watches, like, oh, I'm sorry for five fucking dub watches. But this is how it ends. Alright, time to go to Bulbapedia and type in Cynthia. So that's what we'll do next. But like, the fact that the official Xbox Twitter tweeted that out. I'm beside myself at this point. Oh, come on, dude, you can't tell me that. Ah, you know what, it's good. But yeah. But the fact that he, like, no. I, I thought, like, oh, Serena may be coming canon. It's like, motherfucker, they've been canon for a long time. Do you not know? They've been in the anime for so long. It's like, oh, we, we, two girls are holding hands, so they're lesbians. No. Why does, why does everyone always want to fucking ruin it with identity politics? Why does everything need to be fucked up by you dumb people? 